Hi guys. Yes, I got another Grove Collaborative. I did a video for Grove Collaborative uh, a couple of weeks ago and um, said I had enough stuff from Grove to last me a long time. And then I found out, you know, it's time for the spring scents to go away. They have certain scents and cleaners that are seasonal. And I said, I've got to get me some spring scents to stockpile. So I did that. So right now, oh, I have a small, another small Grove Collaborative box to unbox for you. And I also thought I would follow up with the laundry soap dispenser. I unboxed it in my last Grove video and I said I would review how it is. So I would like to do that. I also want to touch base on some new things I'll be adding to my channel. I'm still going to be doing unboxings. I have a fashion on the way and I was very excited because this time there are times when you have the opportunity to video chat with your stylist for 15 minutes and talk about the kind of things you like and what you need. And I did that this time. So when my fashion comes, I'm going to tell you about that and show you what I got. That's due here pretty soon. I have a stitch fix coming, so I'm going to continue to do the unboxings. But at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you a few other things that I am going to be doing on the channel. Meanwhile, let's get back to the Grove Collaborative. This is their laundry soap dispenser with their laundry soap in it. And I had the darndest time trying to figure out how you use this. It looks pretty on my washing machine. I mean, it, it's a nice looking little thing. So it looks better in real life than it does on the uh, camera right now. Um, it's got this frosted, uh, get in here, frosted glass. And it's just pretty. I couldn't figure out how to use it. Let me tell you, <clears throat> the first thing I did was I filled it with the laundry soap. And you get these refillable pouches of laundry soap you can fill up your jar with. And um, laundry soap works pretty well. I actually like the laundry soap a lot. But I didn't read the directions. So I was just like pouring laundry soap in my washer. And I thought somehow it was automatically dispensing the right amount. Then I said, I better, I seem to be going through it awful fast. I better check the directions. So, okay. It says here on the box. Twist off top of laundry soap dispenser, ensuring the spout is in the locked position. Dispense Grove Ultra Concentrated Laundry Detergent to the fill line. I didn't know where the fill line was. Three, replace top and flip dispenser over once to prime the auto-dosing mechanism. Four, Turn spout counterclockwise to unlocked position and auto-dose your way to laundry bliss. Do any of you understand what it said? Because I didn't. Now, my husband is an engineer. I handed him the box. I handed him the dispenser and said, what is this saying? Okay, so all it meant was to take the lid off and pour the laundry soap in here. Now did that and then on this dispenser let me see where the line is where the lock mark is okay right here i don't know if you can see there's a little line there and then there's a little lock when it's like this and you dump it it's not going to pour laundry soap out so my husband said it just means once it's in there make sure it's locked so it doesn't spill and this is tricky you have to hold the handle to turn this otherwise the whole thing will unscrew so it's locked i hope it's locked i have old eyes Turn it upside down, nothing's coming out, but you're getting exactly the right amount for one regular load in this cap. Then you turn it back again and it's primed. You're ready to pour the laundry soap out, turn it, have to hold the handle, turn it to the unlocked position, and it will pour out just the amount that it put in the cap. If you've got a massively huge amount, you might wanna do it twice. There is also a way I haven't figured out yet to take out of the bottom of this, it says it can do this on the box. I'll probably give it to my husband again. Oh, it's not in the locked position. I just poured laundry soap on my new Grove Collaborative box. Back in the locked position. There we go. Now I can take it off. Probably still some in there. I'll put my hand. No, no, it's not coming out now. It's working. Um, somehow you can take that auto dosing feature off the bottom if you just want to use a regular measuring cup and pour your laundry soap in that. So. I like the laundry soap. I now have some dripped on my pants, so these are like ready to go in the wash and some dripped on the box. Be sure to put it in the locked position before you take it off. 
Um, but they tell you on here somewhere how much is in a regular load. Ah, here, one full dose, 21 milliliters or 0 0.71 ounces. So you can use, I guess, milliliters, a graduated cylinder to measure it out. Or you can just see what's in the dosing cup, like pour it in one of those little tops, like a Tide bottle, and see how much it fills if you don't want to use the dosing cup each time. All right. Anyway, overall, so far, I have a positive review of this. It looks pretty, and once you've taken the instruction course to figure out how to use it, it seems to do a good job. Um, I've had pretty full loads in there, and that one dosing cup got everything clean. I don't like to use a whole lot of laundry soap because it, it's not good for the clothes. Everything comes out smelling fresh, so for that. Now, let's see what I ordered here. Lots of sweet-smelling stuff. All right. Oh! I thought I took this off, but maybe I didn't. This is what the laundry soap comes in. This is a refillable pouch. If you save the refillable pouches, you can send them back to Grove and they will recycle them. They're not like normally recyclable, but you can send them back and get them recycled. So they're very thin. They're made of recycled plastic, the pouches, and you just refill the laundry soap with that. I forgot I put that in there. And then I do the same thing with a hand soap. I got the Grove Collaborative Glass Hand Soap Dispenser that has a silicone sleeve on the bottom so it doesn't slide around. And I just use the refill. This is a small one. You can get a big one. Lavender and thyme, which actually smells really good. And this is my hand soap dispensers. But I do, for my upstairs bathroom, I also get, every now and then, I get a Mrs. Meyer pump bottle because I really like the smell. Mary, it's her favorite smell here. This is the honeysuckle one. We just like the smell of it. So one of the bathrooms will get this. It's a nice, light, spring, summery smell. So... And then I reuse these bottles, too. What else did I get in here? Oh, I love these. You can get these at Target. You can get these anywhere. Yes to cucumber facial wipes. They take off makeup, and they don't destroy your face. I'm not wearing makeup right now. I think I have a little bit of, like, neutral lipstick on. But um, I've got nothing on my face. But what I do before I wash my face, I like to use these. They don't irritate. Um, they're a little bit less expensive with Grove than they are at Target, as are most of these items that you can also find elsewhere, so I get them through Grove. Now, they are rationing this stuff out. You can only get two at a time. This is the Grove hand sanitizing spray. I talked about it in the last video. I won't rehash it, but this is good stuff. I love the smell. Orange citrus. And I know I have enough dish soap and counter spray to survive for years without a grocery store. But I hadn't tried the spring scent in Rose. I have the lavender, which I, not, not lavender, lilac, which I really, really like. And that's going away too. Oh, that's actually kind of nice. I'd never tried the rose smell. So this is going to go away soon since it's a spring scent. And we're going to get into the summer and fall scent soon. Um, I figured I'd try it. I like the smell of roses. Mary can't stand the smell of roses. I love the smell of roses. So I figured I'd get some of the rose scented Mrs. Myers. This is a really light one. Some of them smell really strong. This is very light. So I got the multi-surface spray too. And I figured I'd set these both out in the kitchen so my kitchen would smell like roses, which means Mary probably won't be raiding the refrigerator. She doesn't like roses. And I also get, sometimes I get some basic stuff I can get at the regular grocery store which is a pain to go to right now because you have to wait in line and you have the social distancing and you want to get in and out quickly. Um, so I just figured I'd order my regular cleanser through Grove, which you can do anyway. So time to clear, clean the upstairs bathroom. That's all I got this time. Um, I will have information on Grove and a link below. So if you're interested, it's there. I also want to say thank you. Someone used my referral link last time, which gave me, when someone uses my link, I get a $10 credit. So that's also what inspired me to go spring for those rose-scented items since I had a credit on my account. I don't know who used my link, but thank you uh, for whoever it did. And if you want to try Grove, you also, if you sign up with that link, you can get a five-piece Mrs. Meyer gift set with your first order. So anyway, it'll be below if you're interested. Now, the future of my channel. Um, I started doing unboxings, I think in 2016. And I ha I'm not a professional YouTuber. I'm not monetized. I, um, I have a small amount, relatively small amount of subscribers. 
and I don't do this on a regular basis. There are YouTubers who do. They do it professionally. I really enjoy watching their channels, especially the unboxings. And I'll usually let their ads run because they're getting, this is their job to do these things and I enjoy watching them. So that's kind of how I'm, I'm paying for the show that they're giving me. I just kind of do what I want to do when I want to do it. I'm not doing it professionally. I'm doing it mostly for fun. And I started doing unboxings in part because I liked watching them. So I had subscribed originally, I think, to Stitch Fix and Truck Club because I really liked watching people unbox those items. And I thought, oh, I'll try to film this. I'll try this myself. Um, so I did it because I liked it. And there's a few other things that I like to do. And I'm thinking, what am I watching now? Mostly on YouTube. I'm still watching the unboxings. Um, a lot of the channels I'm subscribed to, I watch certain things they do, but not everything they do. I watch what I'm interested in. I become very interested in watching um, reviews of certain shows as well as reaction videos, which I don't know how to record and do and get it lined up in time, or I might start doing that. But there are a couple of things that I'm going to be adding on, um, which are kind of reviews of things I have watched. There is one particular show I really, really want to review, and that is VidAngel's new series, The Chosen, which is a Bible drama. And I have to tell you, most of you who watch my videos and see my unboxings and see what my walls look like know I am a Catholic Christian. Um, I tend to hate religious movies. They, what polite language can I use? They're awful. They're usually awful. There's a few exceptions, but on the whole, they're just awful. And uh, faith-based films, it's like, oh my goodness, has anyone actually read Genesis? The book is at the very least R-rated. God is not afraid to show what's in the heart. And I'm like, I don't like them. So it was very reluctantly, when I was in New Zealand, a live streaming of The Chosen came on and I watched it. And while I can pick at certain things, I really liked it. So I might do a review of that and then a review of each episode. Again, if that's not your cup of tea, just don't watch those videos. Watch I'll, all my... All my content will be clearly labeled watch what you like don't watch what you don't like i also some of you know i'm a science fiction fan and especially a doctor who fan and i think i'm going to do a review of this past season's doctor who if i learn to do reaction videos i will probably start reacting to a few of the science fiction fantasy shows if it's your cup of tea you're welcome to watch and if it's not that's okay too uh i am not ego involved in my channel if i was i would be working a lot harder and remember to say like and subscribe in every video which i usually don't um but you can like and subscribe and watch what you like don't watch what you don't like so those are some of the things i have coming up if there's anything else you would like to see let me know in the comment box below and we'll see what we can do um, I still haven't been able to convince Mary, and people have been asking her for over a year now to do a, uh, a video on her sword collection. We'll see if we can twist her arm into that. Uh, she hasn't been around as much lately, so we'll see. And I will see you soon. Probably the next video will be my fashion unboxing, and I will let you know about that video chat, which was really, really awesome. So, I will see you then. Bye-bye.